such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell him to take care of the ball and try and move forward. So all eyes on the Falcons. Down 17-15. And time, a huge factor. A field goal would be a game winner as they come up on first down. Connecting with Mixon. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Murray to throw. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Running left, it's Mixon. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Again, it's Mixon. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. As he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Inside handoff to Mixon. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave him with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Mixon with a first down carry. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to almost certainly win the football game. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. And with that, they're down to one remaining here in the second half. And we'll see young Wei Koo now for the Falcons. This to take the lead here in the final minute. Koo knocks this one through the post. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. So they tried to ice him there, but it's fair to say it did not have the intended effect. And I've known kickers that take it as an affront. And there he says, you think you're going to rattle me? Think again. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Now one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this one will come to an end. Well, it took us until the final.